access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Love Conversation Cheat Sheet. Do you know how to ask someone out in your target language? With this new cheat sheet, you'll master tons of romantic phrases, just in time for Valentine's Day. Download it for free right now. Second, the Slang Words and Phrases PDF eBook. Do you know any slang in your target language? If not, download this free ebook and master all the must-know slang across 10 chapters. Third, can you talk about containers in your target language? Learn how to say box, bottle, bin, and much more with this quick vocabulary bonus. Fourth, must-know Valentine's Day vocabulary. Can you talk about Valentine's Day in your target language? You'll be able to with this quick one-minute vocabulary lesson. Fifth, the top 15 encouraging phrases. Want to be able to say positive phrases like believe in yourself and don't give up? Then get this bonus phrase lesson. Sixth, free audiobooks. Unlock our huge library of language learning audiobooks. Save them to any device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, take the 12-month challenge and get 12 months of premium or premium plus at up to 45% off. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to adjust your routine and learn language from home. Many of us are spending more and more time at home. So how do you make the best of this time and learn your target language? Learning at home can be tough with all the distractions. And in this episode, you're going to discover the pros and cons of learning at home and how to successfully learn from home without getting distracted. But first, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. First, the Love Conversation Cheat Sheet. Do you know how to ask someone out in your target language? With this new cheat sheet, you'll master tons of romantic phrases, just in time for Valentine's Day. Download it for free right now. Second, the Slang Words and Phrases PDF eBook. Do you know any slang in your target language? If not, download this free eBook and master all the must-know slang across 10 chapters. Third, can you talk about containers in your target language? Learn how to say box, bottle, bin, and much more with this quick vocabulary bonus. Fourth, must know Valentine's Day vocabulary. Can you talk about Valentine's Day in your target language? You'll be able to with this quick one minute vocabulary lesson. Fifth, the top 15 encouraging phrases. Want to be able to say positive phrases like believe in yourself and don't give up? Then get this bonus phrase lesson. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to adjust your routine and learn language from home. Recently, many people have started to work and take classes from home. With language learning, since it's something people do in their own time, a lot of it is done at home anyway. But that doesn't mean that all of this hasn't affected how people learn. If you use the language learning app or listen to lessons during your commute, but you don't commute anymore, the pandemic has probably ruined your flow. With many of us spending more time at home, being able to learn from home efficiently is a good skill to have. Because while learning or working from home sounds good, it's not exactly easy to do. Part one, the pros and cons of learning at home. First, the pros. There's convenience. You can learn whenever you want. You also have more time in the day since you're not commuting or walking from the train station into work. It's also easier to practice speaking. Many people might find it hard to practice on the train or at a lunch break or in the office during work. It might sound a little strange, but at home, you can dedicate more time to practicing speaking. 
What's your favorite pro of learning at home? Leave us a comment. Now, what about the cons? Distractions. There are a lot more distractions at home. There's the TV, there's the couch and the food and family members coming in and out. Next, there's no physical or mental separation between rest and work, which is crucial for focus. It's the same reason why people prefer going to the gym instead of working out from the comfort of their own home. If you're in a place where there's only one goal, like working out, and you're surrounded by people working out, you'll have no problem doing it. But if you're in a place you associate with rest, eating, and watching TV, you might have trouble focusing. But if you're spending more time at home, then you should at least make the best of it and learn your language at home. Part two, how to successfully learn from home without getting distracted. So here's how you do it. First, pick a dedicated place for learning and preferably not your bed. Just like an office is associated with working time and your bedroom is associated with rest, you need a place associated with language learning. It could be your desk in the corner of the room. It could be your basement as long as it's far from distractions and places of rest. Second, pick a time. That way, for example, when it's 9 p.m., you know it's time to put in 10 minutes of language learning. Three, time box your study sessions. What's time boxing? Time boxing is simply setting a fixed amount of time for an activity. For example, you're going to dedicate the next 10 minutes to language and nothing else. If you usually have trouble concentrating, time boxing is a good way to set boundaries and get things done. Four, start small. Just like with setting small, measurable goals and realistic routines, don't set aside two hours for study time. Instead, try to time box five, 10, or 15 minutes and stick with that for a week or two. You can always increase your time later once you get more comfortable with your routine. Five, do multiple sessions in one day. Instead of trying to master a lesson and the lesson dialogue in one shot, space out your learning throughout the day, in the morning, afternoon, and at night. So take an audio or video lesson and read along with the lesson notes in the morning. You'll get acquainted with the conversation, all the words, and grammar rules. Don't rush to memorize it all. You'll come back to it later in the day. And do this for around five to 15 minutes. During the day, practice shadowing the dialogue. Practice recalling the words. Do this for around 10 minutes. You can also write out the lesson dialogue, practice using the grammar rules, or drill the words with flashcards. And at night, come back and review for about 10 minutes. You can re-listen to the lesson or just the dialogue track. By doing multiple sessions in one day, you'll be a lot more comfortable with the language, simply because you spaced out your learning and came back to review. And while it may feel repetitive, it's the repetition that helps you master the language over the long term. Six, use at-home time to practice speaking more. It would be hard to practice if you were commuting or out on a walk, but if you're at home, you can easily speak out loud without drawing attention or feeling embarrassed. So to recap, one, pick a specific place for learning that's far from distractions like your bed. Two, pick a specific time for studying. Three, time box your study sessions. Four, start small. Five, do multiple sessions in one day. And six, use at-home time to practice speaking more. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time we'll talk about the power of learning a language with someone else. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. If you wanted to learn a language even just 25 years ago, you would have needed to go to a library, take in-person classes, and dig for the right resources. Before you could even begin regular practice sessions, you had to find the tools you needed to learn. Now, with just a quick Google search, you can find literally anything you need to learn a language online. If you forget how to conjugate a verb, you can refresh your memory right away on Wikipedia. If you want to watch a foreign language movie with subtitles, you can search for one on YouTube. 
You can even have one-on-one -on -one lessons with native speakers of the language you're studying. Tons of platforms offer video and audio lessons. These days, the challenge is finding the resources that are right for you. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can get the most out of our language learning resources. Number one, aim for one podcast a day. At the beginning of your studies, it's easy to set a big target, like two hours of language practice every day. But for most of us, that's not realistic. After a long day of work or school, it's difficult to commit to more hours studying language. Instead, you can make your goal to do small things consistently. This can help you move forward, sometimes almost without you noticing it. Try to listen to one podcast every day. They're only 10 to 15 minutes, so everyone can make time for that. You can review previous podcast lessons or listen to new lessons. Just make sure you get in one each day. Number two, use the lesson review tools. If you want to maximize your learning after you listen to a podcast, make sure to use the lesson review tools. Reviewing what you've learned is an important part of learning anything. The more you see or practice a specific word or phrase, the better you'll remember it. Number three, review the 2,000 most common words in spaced repetition flashcards. In each language, there are some words that make up the majority of written and spoken conversation. You can use this knowledge to focus your studies. If you learn the 2,000 most common words in the language you're studying, you'll have a great foundation. The vocabulary lists in our program are a great tool for this. You'll get example phrases with the target words. You can listen to the correct pronunciation and intonation of each word. Use these lists along with a spaced repetition program and create your own flashcard deck. This is a great thing to have on your phone. You can study vocabulary on your commute, when waiting for someone, or while traveling. Number four, make use of short periods of time. How much time do you spend every week doing things like commuting, shopping for groceries, walking, or cleaning? Probably more than a couple of hours, right? These are examples of time you can be using to build your language skills. You can use it to listen to language podcasts, and you can do this without specifically scheduling a time to practice. If you have all the resources you need wherever you are, you can use every opportunity you have to practice. You can download all of our lessons to your phone. Each season of podcasts will be stored as an album, so it's easy to put on your headphones and listen to a quick lesson whenever you've got the time. Number five, have the right expectations. It's easy to find all sorts of so-called quick language learning systems and secret tricks that promise fluency in just a couple months or even weeks. While you might find some good tips now and then, most of these claims are not based in reality. Make sure you don't measure your own progress against these impossible standards. If you've been told you can completely master a new language in three months, but by the end of your studies you've made just a little bit of progress, it can be demotivating. Fluency in a language can take years to attain, and getting the confidence to use that language can take more time. Set small goals for yourself when you're learning. When you achieve them, celebrate. Learning a new language is not a short-term journey, but with our resources, you can see improvements every day. If you want to get more tips on learning language, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Have you ever wondered if you could learn a language faster? We asked our experienced learners for their best tips, so you can steal these and use them for yourself. In this video, you'll discover five tactics for faster language learning. Number one, try more challenging lessons to improve faster. If you're wondering, why should I try a harder lesson? Think about the gym. Studying is a bit like working out. If you wanna get bigger and stronger, you need to exercise with heavier weights. But you might think, if I try a harder lesson, I won't be able to understand everything. Remember, that's normal. When you can't understand 100% of a lesson, it means there are things in the lesson for you to learn. Keep in mind that you should challenge yourself, but not choose lessons that are impossible. And make sure to use the tools you have to study the things you don't know. 
With our learning program, teachers break down the conversation in every lesson. You also get the translations and explanations right there on the lesson page. There are also lesson notes, transcripts, and dialogue study tools for you to use. Remember how you felt when you started studying and try to keep that beginner mindset. When you realize you don't understand something, don't run away from it. Instead, use the tools you have to work to understand it. This will help you learn faster. Number two, put your learning on autopilot. Imagine you have a bunch of learning apps and textbooks. Maybe you have a bunch of study tools on your smartphone or a bunch of books piled on a table you wanna read. Where do you even begin? A lot of learners begin with a lot of enthusiasm, so they buy a lot of resources, but then get overwhelmed. They're not sure where to start or what to do or how to continue. Let's think about a textbook. It's easy to understand how to use a textbook. You follow the pages, begin with chapter one, then go to chapter two, chapter three, and so on until you finish the book. The road forward is clear. You don't have to think about anything except moving forward with your studies. So how do you apply this kind of autopilot approach if you're not using a textbook? You can actually do this with our language learning program's tracking feature. With our progress tracking dashboard, once you've chosen your learning level, we'll give you a recommended lesson pathway and feed you lessons one by one. The dashboard will tell you which lessons to take from lesson one to lesson two to lesson three. You'll be guided as you work on improving. Number three, read lines from the lesson dialogue out loud slowly. Then reread and increase your speed. This tactic is powerful for two reasons. It helps you become able to read faster and speak faster. Speaking smoothly is something many beginners say they struggle with. So this kind of practice can be very beneficial for beginning learners. With our language learning program, for every lesson, you get a conversation. Read the dialogue with the line by line dialogue. Read out loud slowly once, then reread a bit faster, then again, and keep increasing your speed until you can say the lines comfortably and sound like a native. You can take it a step further and try to memorize the dialogue too. Try recalling it after your study session and say the lines out loud. This kind of review will help you progress and help you remember. Number four, review old lessons to master them completely. Review is essential for your learning. If you come across a new word, you won't remember it if you see it only once. It takes repetition to remember something. Make sure to take time to review past lessons. Give your brain a chance to remember the things you studied previously. For example, if you try our listening comprehension lessons and you don't understand absolutely everything, check the translations and try listening again. Use the study tools you have available to make the most of your review sessions. Number five, download the dialogue tracks and listen to the conversations. This is a super popular immersion tactic. Here's how it works. When you're done with a lesson, download the dialogue track. You'll get the conversation in your target language. Then make a playlist of the dialogue tracks. Each track is about 10 to 30 seconds long. You can even put the tracks and playlists on your device and listen to them throughout the day, just as you would listen to music. This helps make the language feel a bit more natural, more like part of your everyday life. Instead of music, you're immersing yourself in conversations. This can be a great way to work on improving your listening skills. This video covered five tips to help you learn a language faster. For even more ways to learn faster, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. All cultures have a form of music. Music is one of the most basic tools we can use to learn a language. Parents use music and songs to teach their young children simple words. Music can help us focus, help us remember better, and thus help us as we acquire a language. Music can aid our coordination and physical development too. So, how do we use music to support our language learning now as grown people? In this video, we'll look at four ways to use music to study a language. Imitating structures and rhythms is important when learning a language, and the same is true for music. 
When children play with other children, they listen to songs, move their bodies as they play games, and try to imitate what they see and hear. This practice of regular imitation aids children as they gain their language skills. Repeating song lyrics like those from nursery rhymes helps kids retain words and expressions. Children may not know the meanings of all the words in the songs they sing, but they remember the songs, the vocabulary, and the rhythms. Children practice making sounds by mimicking the pronunciation of words. This can be the first step to the child understanding the meaning and use of a word. You might not realize it, but you probably still remember many of the songs and rhymes you learned when you were a child. We're able to remember expressions, words, and ideas effectively when they're put to music. This is also the reason you can memorize the lyrics of songs you like rather easily. Patterns like those in many popular songs are repetitive. We review the rhythms and the words each time we listen. Everybody's different, so if you want to use music to support your language learning, we're here to provide four different ways. Number one, passive listening. One way to study with music is through passive listening. You can do this with songs you have in your target language on your computer, a CD, your favorite streaming site. You can use this method as long as you have access to music in the language you want to study. Turn the music on and let it play in the background while you do something else, like studying, cooking dinner, or cleaning the house. Do this regularly and let your mind get used to the idea of hearing your target language in your environment. This kind of familiarity with the language will help you as you work towards fluency. Passive listening is one form of language immersion. As you listen to the background music over and over and get more comfortable with it, you'll start to notice keywords, intonation, grammar patterns, and so on. With enough practice and with enough different music to listen to, you might even start to recognize certain sounds and words when you hear them somewhere else. Number two, memorization. You can use music to help build your vocabulary and memorize words effectively. This method focuses on studying lyrics and songs to improve your ability to recall the words. Look up the lyrics to a song you're listening to and review them line by line. You can read the lyrics as you listen to the song or try to remember the next line in the song before it is sung. Memorization practice like this enhances your listening skills and boosts your reading skills. Number three, sing along. Our first tip in this lesson was to listen passively. This tip, however, is to listen actively by singing along to your music. Look up the lyrics of a song you like. Play the song and try to sing along. You may also be able to find videos on YouTube of popular songs with the lyrics included. If it's difficult at first, don't worry. Remember, regular review and practice is essential. Just as we usually need to hear a song in our native language a few times before we remember the words, you can expect to need to listen several times over a few days before you feel comfortable with all the words. Through practicing this way, you'll learn grammar, spelling, and pronunciation. You'll also get to enjoy a song you like. Moreover, this type of exercise will help you work on your reading and listening skills. A good way to check your progress is by trying to sing the song by yourself. You can sing with no music, or you can try looking for a karaoke version of the song you like. If you can sing all the words, great. If not, you can go back to the lyrics and study a bit more until you master the track. Number four, transcription. To do this exercise, listen to the song. As it plays, write down or transcribe the lyrics. You can start and stop the song at the end of each line to slow things down a bit. If you begin your studies with this method, you might catch only a few words, but don't get frustrated. Play the song and write down everything you can hear. Then play the song again and write down the words that you missed the first time you listened. With practice like this, your listening skills will improve and so will your spelling. These are just a few ways that you can use music to study another language. Be patient and don't forget to enjoy the music you're listening to as you study. If you want to start simple, try listening to children's songs in your target language. The song lyrics tend to be repeated a lot, and this can help you identify key words quickly. Learning a language through music is fun. It can help you focus your attention and improve your memory. This can be a great part of your self-study plan. If you want to get more tips on learning language, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. 
You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. When learning a new language, everyone should have an ultimate goal to work towards. Whether you want to be able to connect with a relative, easily order food while traveling, or go somewhere new, having an end goal for your learning can be very motivating. A popular but challenging goal is being able to speak like a native speaker. It's difficult to measure exactly when you reach this goal, and it's not something you can pick up using textbooks alone. So how do you work on making your speech more natural? That's what we're going to look at today. Here are three tips to help you practice talking like a native speaker. Number one, focus on vocabulary. If your goal is to speak like a native, you might be really focused on speaking quickly or using as many complex grammar patterns as possible. But in our native languages, we're not always trying to speak as fast as possible. And we use complex grammar patterns when necessary, not to show off. Vocabulary, however, is extremely important to expressing ourselves naturally. Your choice of words can reveal a lot about you and your understanding of the language. Most learners have had the experience of using a phrase book or a dictionary to find a word they want to use, trying the word in conversation, and getting a look of confusion from the native speaker. In some cases, although your word choice may be grammatically correct, the word may be inappropriate for the situation or totally unnatural. This is especially important in business and other formal situations where the right level of formality and professionalism is key. Being able to understand nuances in vocabulary words can also help you understand relationships between people just by listening to the conversation. Try to listen to many different types of conversations. Listen to how people talk to their friends, their superiors, and in customer service situations. This will give you a better idea of how to talk to others naturally. In some languages, you can omit words from sentences or use more direct communication styles. It's important to be aware of these things so you can apply them yourself. Colloquialisms and slang are also commonly used in most languages. As this sort of vocabulary is always evolving, it can be difficult to keep up with the latest words. Talk with native speakers and consume media in your target language to make sure you pick up these kinds of expressions. Media is a great resource for your learning. Ultimately, knowing the appropriate vocabulary to use for each situation will really help you sound more knowledgeable. Number two, perfect your accent. With every language, there are unique pronunciation and intonation challenges. Some languages are tonal languages, and a change in pitch can completely change the meaning of a word. Then there's the fact that most countries have multiple dialects, and so people from one area of the country may sound different from those in another. So what is the best way to listen to a wide range of accents and different pronunciations? Video and audio resources are a great way to do this. YouTube is a perfect place to start because people from all kinds of different backgrounds upload videos to the platform. You can watch educational videos, daily life vlogs, cooking shows, a travel series, whatever interests you. Pay attention to the different ways people speak. Everyone is unique. And then practice speaking like them. This kind of practice can help you sound more natural. One note, please be aware of the type of resources you're using. For example, if you find a video where a speaker uses a rare dialect, it might not be a good idea to use that for your pronunciation practice, unless you have a special reason for studying a specific accent. As a general rule, it's best to try to search for practice resources that use a standard form of the language you're studying. Number three, copy what you hear. Do you remember how you learned to speak as a child? We rarely learned new words just listening to them or reading after we learned how. When we were little kids, we imitated the sounds we heard by repeating the sounds out loud. While you're talking to a friend, watching videos, or listening to audio in your target language, you can do this to try and replicate the way they speak. Doing this will help you work on mastering the flow of the language, your accent, intonation, and pronunciation. Of course, you might also pick up some new vocabulary this way. Make sure to repeat new words often. It's a great way to make sure you remember them. Try doing this using a number of different mediums and sources. That way, you'll be exposed to the diversity that the language offers and master the fundamentals of pronunciation. For example, you can watch and imitate several different YouTube videos and audio CDs, but try a few different sources, like different creators or different audio types, to make sure you experience a wide range of communication in your target language. 
If you're using our language learning program, you can even get your own teacher with Premium Plus. Your teacher can answer questions, give assignments, and even listen to your recordings and give you advice on pronunciation. Completing these kinds of lessons with a native teacher can really boost your confidence in your speaking skills. Becoming able to speak like a native is a popular goal for many people learning a new language. It feels great to be able to communicate smoothly, especially when the people you're talking to expect basic level sentences or broken communication. Try using the tips we've shared in this video to work on improving your speaking skills. Of course, it'll take time and persistence, but the reward will be more natural communication. And for even more tips on speaking, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.